Hello, everyone. My name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming. And in this tutorial, we are going to take a look at decals. Now, for the next few tutorials, we're going to be looking at the different ways that you can add uh, decals effectively. And they are, you know, decals, projected decals, and of course, overlays. But in this video, we're going to look at decals. And effectively, decals are a type of texture that you apply to a brush or a model, although we'll talk about that later because there are some caveats to that. And they add just, you know, a little bit of extra detail to your level without having to, you know, create smaller brushes. And they just blend right over the surface because if you had, say, multiple brushes, it'll just overlay over top of it. Now, decals are the cheapest of the three methods that I just uh, mentioned, but they're also some of the most rigid. They're not very, I, mean, I don't want to say they're difficult to work with because they're really not that difficult to work with. It's just, um, they're very cheap as far as rendering expense goes, uh, but they do have some limitations. Like you can't change the size of them and so forth. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to leave our default texture here. And then I'm going to select the apply decals and I'm just going to plop my decal right on down. Now, as you can see, uh, yeah, it's not really very nice there. And it's also not, you know, applying all over the surface. Well, the other surfaces there. Um, and yeah, it has its own set of issues there, like the sea fighting and so forth. Um, but what if what if we wanted and we can double click this okay if we can get the gizmo right we can double click it and we can actually change the texture so we're going to type in decal which i believe it's decals and there's a whole bunch of different ones now we'll try the blood stain now this one as you can see applies flawlessly because i believe this one over here is actually meant for overlays and we can move it around. Right, I have to do it in the top viewport there. And if we go back into our decal overlay, okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's select this one. There we go. So as you can see, you can place them so that they will you know, go on the wall, the floor. They will uh, you know apply to you know, various different brushes even. Um, so let me talk about some of the things you want to avoid. So decals are relatively cheap, as I mentioned before. Um, however, due to the fact that they do support transparency and so forth and the way source rendering works, it is more expensive to render decals over top of each other. So you definitely want to avoid a situation where decals are placed over top of each other. Um, but other than that, I mean, you can place these things pretty much anywhere you like. You probably don't want to place, you know, tens of thousands of them in one little area. But if you need them, you know, you can use them quite liberally. Um, again, they don't really have a whole lot of, you know, options with them. Effectively, they're just a texture and you place them in the level. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at a either overlays or the projected decal, and they have a bit more options and their own set of rules and limitations. Overlays are by far the most expensive and projected decals effectively can only be placed on meshes and so forth. But we'll get into that in just a second. But first, I just wanna go out here and you can see we have some nice little bit of blood there. It's not overlaying over top of that. So that's something to you know, keep in mind. Oh, that one is though. Nice. Okay, so that's it for decals. They are, as you can see, they are actually extremely, extremely simple. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that little bell. Uh, if you need any help or want to join the Discord, link to it is in the description. And if you'd like to become a member, get early access to, you know, all these lovely videos and more. Uh, and of course, just support the channel. Uh, hit that join button or there's a link in the description, whichever works easier for you. And I will see you guys in the next one.